Today I am going to show you how to add a video to your Qualtrics survey. This is one of the things I probably get asked the most um, as lots of people want to add videos into their surveys for various different reasons. There are a few ways to do it. Um, one of the ways to do it is to add media as you would an image or a graphics. Um, but there are problems with this because you can have problems with different file formats, file sizes, um, and then that varies across the browser. Um, so the easiest option and the way that I always recommend people add their video into their Qualtrics survey is to embed it from YouTube. So to start with, you need to create a question. So you can see I've done one here, question one, um, and the text that I've written in says you will now be shown a video, please watch carefully. So I want to put my video into that question. So we'll go on to YouTube. I have a video here that is listed on YouTube. You can also embed videos that are unlisted, which means they can't be searched for outside of your survey. People can't find them if people go onto your YouTube channel. They're not visible to them. Um, but it means that we can pick them up with this embedded link that I'm going to show you in a minute. Um, the only way you can't do this is if you create private videos um, because they just can't be picked up using the link that way. So your video either needs to be listed or unlisted to do this. So we've got our video here. Um, if you click on share on the video that you want to em embed in your survey and then click on embed here, and then you'll see here we've got the HTML code for that video. So if we click copy, that copies that and then we can just close that back into our survey click on the question text and then if you click on HTML view here um, we'll click on that and then underneath the text that we want to be shown we will just paste in the embedded um, information that we've taken from YouTube so you can see that's added that there and you will also see now that our video has popped up underneath. So we can just click off that question and let's preview that to see, just check that that works. So here we go, well, here we have our question. You will be now shown a video, please watch carefully and your participant can click play. So and they will now see the video. The, one of the things to be aware of this help. is that your participant and can really actually click over the to the next question without watching the full video. Um, now that may be fine, but in a lot of cases I know that you would want your participant to see your whole video before they moved over. So to one of the ways we can deal with that is by adding a timer to the question. This means that the participant cannot skip the video. The um, little icon that allows them to move on to the next question doesn't appear until a certain amount of time has passed. So to do that we um, add a new question. So if you add a question underneath your video and where we change the question type we will change that to a timing question here under the advanced options and here we can enable submit after a certain amount of seconds. So that allows the box to pop up after a certain number of seconds. So our video, let's have a look how long it was, 1 minute 44. So we'll give them a couple of seconds to press play. So let's set ours to 110 seconds. What you can also do is have it so it automatically changes questions after the time that you set as well. So you could auto advance after um, say again 110 seconds if you wanted um, and then you can show the timer so your participant can see how long's left if you wanted. Um, I probably wouldn't do that if I was just wanting them to watch a video because I think it makes them aware um, of the video but it's that's entirely up to you. So I'll just get rid of this one. So we're going to have the enable submit after 110 seconds come up. One thing to remember with the timings is it can only be applied to the page rather than the question. Um, so you just need to make sure that you've got a page break in um, and that anything then on that page will be displayed for that amount of time. So let's preview that. So you will now be shown a video, please watch carefully. So the and our video is playing, I'll just mute it so that it doesn't disturb what I'm saying to so the videos playing through. What we can see here is this information, this timing and the timing metrics. This won't be shown to the participant as it says, this is just for your information. Um, so don't worry about that being on there, it doesn't show to your participants. 
I'm just going to let this run through um, and when I edit it I'll show you what it looks like at the end. Okay, so our video is about finished, so hopefully what will happen now is we will get the next arrow pop up in the next couple of seconds. You may need to play about with your timings um, so that participants aren't waiting too long to be able to move across. Um, maybe you can pop that next arrow up a little bit early, say, so they're just finishing off watching it when it comes up. And here you go, you see we've got the next button has now appeared, so let's click on that. And yep, yeah, that pulls us over to the next question. So our participant can rate the video they've just seen. You can ask them then lots of questions about this video um, and then they'll come to the end of their survey. So the timer um, is really useful for this, but you can also add the timer into lots of different questions as well in the same way that I've just showed you. So you're just changing the question type um, to a timing question and then adding in the information you want. So hopefully that's been helpful. Um, the, as I said, the simplest way to get your video in with the least amount of problems is by embedding the link from YouTube. If you do want to put a video in that's not on YouTube or you're not able to upload to YouTube for any reason, there are alternative ways. It can just get a little bit more complicated, as I said, with file formats, browsers, file sizes. Um, but if this is something you need to do, do get in contact with me. Um, or the rest of us as technicians and we can help you out with this.